Oui. Sorry. Hey guys, it's Matt. We ended up getting a Vibe Yellowfin 100 today. Mainly because they didn't have the ones that I wanted and I'm too impatient to wait another month to get the Sea Ghost. But I tried this guy out. I actually took it out on the river today. It is extremely comfortable, surprisingly nimble, given the fact that it's a 10 foot kayak and it's stable as hell. Starting at the front, I uh, got a nice pointed bow, as you can see under here. It's kind of a mini, kind of, I guess it wouldn't be a catamaran style, but it's definitely able to cut through the waves. Even today was a pretty decently wavy, windy day, so it was actually cut through the waves pretty decently. Um, up here in the front, we have a nice compartment, and all Vibe kayaks come with these nice liners so that you don't lose your shit in the kayak. My wife's giving me the eyes, the look. I'll have to bleep um, that out later, you know this. It's fine. <laughs> Got the nice adjustable foot pegs. One thing that I absolutely love about all Vibe kayaks is the fact that they actually come with scupper plugs. Unlike other brands where you actually have to get them separately. Depending on the person, you can utilize these rails. There's several things you can get on four kayaks that can actually line into this. Uh, for me, I'm going to get a couple rod holders. I know I got the front ones here. That's something that's a little bit more comfortable. Yeah, we have another little storage area with that liner. And then we've got two rod holders up front here, the flush mounted. And then we've got the upgraded seat, which only has one position. But the nice thing about it is you can actually take these off and then back here. And now if you want to beach it, now you have a little beach chair, if you want. You've got two guides right here for the front part of the seat, two guides here for the back part of the seat, guide here, and then underneath the seat, you got another four scupper plugs. And then another nice thing that'll sit side and side is enough room for a Plano box here and a Plano box there. So you can always have your baits right by your side. And if you get really bored, all right, in the back here, you got two more flush mounted rod holders, angled backwards, and then a nice aft compartment space with two more scupper plugs and plenty of bungee space. And then back here, little drain port. All right, so the overall specs of the Vibe Yellowfin 100 is 10 feet long, 34 inches wide. It is 64 pounds and it's entirely rotor mold. Thanks for watching this review. If you liked it, please um, like, subscribe, and comment if you have any suggestions on some of the next videos I can do.